हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर राजेंद्र कोरन ने फ्रॉम माय यूट्यूब चैनल टीच इजी इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट यू सम मोर एमसीक्यूज ऑन सिंगली रिन सेक्शंस ऑफ डिजाइन ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर सो लेट स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द डिजाइन यील्ड स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ स्टील ऑफ ग्रेड ए फी फाइव ए 361.05 न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर बी टू न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर सी 435 न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर डी 250 न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट डिजाइन यील्ड स्ट्रेंथ इज 0.87 टाइम्स एफ वाई सो इफ यू पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ वाई एज 500 हंड्रेड यू विल गेट द आंसर एज फोर एंड फॉर अदर ग्रेड्स ऑल्सो यू कैन सेट द डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन so the correct answer of this question is c 435 newton per mm square question number 2 the beam for which the design moment is less than the limiting ultimate moment of resistance will be designed as a doubly reinforced beam b singly reinforced beam c t beam and d l beam now whenever beam carries the external loads due to those external loads bending moment will be there and the beam is to be designed for that particular bending moment if that bending moment is less than mu lim that is for balance section then it can be designed as a singly reinforced section hence the correct answer of this question is b singly reinforced sections question number 3 if l0 is clear span d effective depth and bs width of the support then the effective span of the beam is a l0 plus bs p l0 plus d c l0 plus d by 2 and d lesser of a and b now we know that we have got two criteria that is clear span plus width of support and clear span plus effective depth whichever is less of these two is the effective span hence the correct answer of this question is d lesser of a and b question number 4 the minimum grade of concrete to be used for rcc work for mild exposure is a m15 b m35 c m25 d m20 now as per is 456 2000 there are five exposure conditions given for each exposure condition minimum grade of concrete to be used minimum nominal cover to be used are given and from that table you can see that the minimum grade of concrete to be used for rcc work for mild exposure is m20 hence the correct answer of this question is d m20 now friends please keep in mind that for this question you can have four more question for different exposure conditions okay so you have to keep in mind this question number 5 the value of load which has 95% probability of not being exceeded during the life span of the structure is a ultimate load b factor load c characteristic load and d design load you can very easily see that this is the definition of characteristic load 95% probability of not being exceeded hence the correct answer of this question is c characteristic load question number 6 partial safety factors for dead load and live load for limit state of serviceability are a 11 b 1.8 c 11.5 d 1.5 1.5 now for limit state of serviceability dead load and live load the partial factors of safety are one for deflection cracking whatever deflection crackings are there that is at working loads hence partial factor of safety are taken as one and one hence the correct answer of this question is a 11 question number 
the exposure condition for a concrete completely immersed in sea water is a moderate b extreme c mild and d severe now i have already told you that in is 456-2005 exposure conditions are there and what are those conditions that means when a structure is said to be as per that exposure condition is given and in this case when the concrete is completely immersed in sea water it is said to be in exposure condition that is severe hence the correct answer of this question is d severe mind well for five different conditions you can have four more questions on four exposure conditions question number eight the minimum grade of concrete to be used for extreme con extreme exposure condition is a m30 b m40 c m50 and d m35 again for different exposure conditions what are the minimum grade of concrete that are given in is 456-2000 according to this one for this particular one that is exposure condition extreme exposure condition the minimum grade of concrete to be used is m40 that is uh, the answer of this question is b m40 you can have some more questions on other extreme exposure extreme condition uh, other conditions also question number 9 the minimum nominal cover to be used for very severe exposure condition is a 75 mm b 50 mm c 45 mm and d 30 mm again this is a con question on exposure conditions so you please refer the table in is 456-2000 okay the correct answer of this question is 50 mm that is b 50 mm question number 10 the depth of critical neutral axis depends on a grade of steel b grade of concrete c effective depth of section and d both a and c now critical neutral axis effective depth is given as say for fe415 it is 0.48 d so for fe415 means it depends upon grade of steel and 0.48 into d means it depends upon depth also so it depends upon a and c both hence the correct answer is d both a and c question number 11 for m20 and fe415 the limiting percentage of tension reinforcement is a 1.76 b 0.76 c 1.20 and d 0.96 now percentage pt lim you can say for if it 250 is 0.088 into fck for m45 it is 0.48 into fck and for fe500 it is 0.38 into fck here it is fe415 and fck is 20 that is 0 0.4 0 0.048 into 20 will come as 0 0.96 hence the correct answer of this question is d 0 0.96 question number 12 for the same effective depth as the grade of steel increases the critical neutral axis will a shifts upward b not change the position c shifts upwards and d can't predict okay now you know that as grade of steel increases for fe250 it is 0.53d for fe415 it is 0.48d for fe500 it is 0.46d so as the grade of steel increases neutral axis will shift upward and upward hence the correct answer of this is c shifts upwards Question number 13. For M35 and FE415, the ultimate moment of resistance factor is A. 3.45, B. 
2.76, C 2.97 and D 3.34. Now, what is ultimate moment of resistance factor for if we 415, it is 0.138 into FCK BD square, where 0.138 FCK is moment of resistance factor. Here FCK is 20, so 0.138 into 25 will give you the answer as 3.45. Hence, the correct answer is A, 3.45. For the other combinations of steel and concrete, you can have other questions also for the same type. Question number 14. The limit state for the limit state method, the nature of strain variation along the depth is A rectangular, B parabolic, C linear, and D circular. You know that strain diagram for concrete or steel is a straight line, hence, this strain variation is linear. The correct answer is C linear. Question number 15. For the limit state method, the nature of stress variation for concrete along the depth is A rectangular, B parabolic, C linear and D parabolic and rectangular. Now, from the assumptions, you know that the variation of stress in concrete up to a strain of 0 0.002 is parabolic and thereafter it is rectangular up to the maximum strain in concrete as 0.035. Hence, the stress variation for concrete will be parabolic and rectangular. The correct answer is D, parabolic and rectangular. Thank you.